Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Catch. Uh, today we're here to do the TCTC challenge by Dee Dee Farago and it's the Colossal Tome of Concepts. And so today I'm going to do another one of these um, pockets, but I'm going to do it a little bit shorter and wider than this particular one. Put the cat down. <laughs> Both of my kids are here in the room, so <laughs> I, I can't guarantee what it's going to turn into here. Um, so anyway, this particular pocket has the long pocket on the front. There's a flap that you can like, if this was your journal page, pretend it is longer. Um, you would glue the flap down onto the page, not that way, this way, so that it's inside, like if your fold is here, then it glues down to the edge of the page. You have writing space here, a writing space here, a writing space here. And then this, you could actually put another piece um, or leave it wider and turn it into a, like a tuck pocket. So there's lots of possibilities with this particular pocket. So you just need two pieces of paper um, the same size. <clears throat> this one I did cut shorter, but anyway, I'm thinking, how wide of a pocket do I want? I want a pocket that's probably about, um, let's see, we'll go three. So I'm gonna cut it at six so that it'll be roughly, you know, three inches wide. And then, so I'm gonna fold that in half. And I like the height of this, I think that's fine. My paper probably wasn't perfectly straight to begin with. These are just off cuts from uh, mailing labels that it's almost five inches high and it would have been if I wasn't cutting this little piece off, but I want to make it even because it's a little uneven. Um, when I do mailing labels, I have, oh my gosh, this thing, half a sheet of paper left. And so I coffee dyed or tea dyed all of them. And so that's, that's what I have now. So we'll cut this one at six and then almost five as well. So I hope you guys are having a good day. We're having a good day. Aiden's over at the table behind me working on her art project again. She's not sitting right next to me like she was before, but you can you can pipe in and talk whenever you want. <laughs> She's still working on her hand project. She's dying to finish it. She was procrastinating this morning because she couldn't get herself motivated to do it. So, but she's doing it. So that's, that's all that matters. So essentially you're gonna take um, and glue the two sheets of paper, one inside of the other. And what did I, oh, that's right. I didn't, I cut that one at five instead of almost five. So it's a little bit longer. I was going to need my score board, but then because I was originally going to use cardstock, <clears throat> then I decided that might get thick after adding all the pages. So, yeah, so you're going to take and put one inside of the other, and then if you want to, you can cut down this back flap or you can leave it a little bit bigger. I'm going to cut it down, but not quite as much as I cut this one down so that it can be a tuck spot in behind it. So, that's the plan. And so I'm going to do a thumb notch first in one of them. And you're always going to have that problem of um, one ending up being a little bit wider than the other because you're stacking them inside of each other. So I'll probably have to trim the edge over here a little bit once I get it glued down. <clears throat> so I'm just going to glue... I am going to glue along this part just because I don't want there to be a hole for anything to fall out or whatever. Along here and here. And I know a lot of these pockets are pretty similar, but um, there's just a lot of things you can do with just the two pieces of paper that are the same size. <clears throat> like that. So yeah, you can make them shorter, wider, all the ones that I've shown so far. You could do things like that with. And like I said, I, some of these ideas, like I have one, I think 
that Carol Laws made <clears throat> based on one I did, but she did it different, so, which is awesome, and that's kind of how we all play off of each other's ideas is, you know, doing something different with a similar idea. So I think I have one of hers in there, but a lot of them I just was sitting, like I told you guys before, but if you're new, I was sitting on the couch just watching TV and just, you know, playing with book pages and um, came up with all these. And I'm not saying they're all like original or my ideas because I'm sure a lot of them other people have done too, but so I'm just trimming that off make them even but so now I have two pages here but this one I'm going to cut down just a little bit and I'm thinking I'm gonna use my cutter and let's make it about two inches I think the other one this one's like not even quite an inch it's probably three quarters of an inch so just do it how you want. And since we did that, I'll go ahead and put a, well, wait to do the thumb notch till I cover it. So this one will go in my um, idea book and this one I'll use for whatever. So I've got some different papers. I've got some of my papers. I have some of Gail's cause I'm, you know, doing um, stuff with these sewing my so fun digi but I also like her feed sacks they go well with all of it so let's put this on the front so there's the right three I'm gonna come out here because I want the this whole thing so I'll take a little bit off the edge So yeah, we're having a rainy day. I mean, it's good because the precipitation was needed. Our lawn was looking like it was gonna croak all together. So we do have our irrigation on now, luckily, because it was getting pretty bad. It was crispy lawn, but still the rain is always nice because it waters everything. <clears throat> and yesterday I had some new birds in the yard. They're so cute. Um, they're, I think, called white crowned finch or something like that. I don't know. I looked it up. Now I can't remember the exact name of them, but they're um, very cute if you have them in your area. I don't know exactly where all they're at. I know they're an Idaho bird, you know, they're all over Idaho, but I don't know if they're anywhere else. They're cute. And they have a neat song, which is how I originally, in the morning, I was like, I hear a different kind of bird. So we have a whole bunch of like house um, finches and sparrows and things in our yard, but um, that hang out like all the time. But it was a different song, and I thought, hmm. And I started watching at the bird feeder, and yeah, they're, they're cute with their little white stripes on their head. And they've got a pretty song. What are you doing today, son? Oh, you gotta go get your vest or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna go do that now? No. Because I have to go to work later today. Oh, 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 okay. So what time are you going to work? Pretty sure 4 30. I haven't checked yet. Okay. Thanks, Jamie. Yeah. <clears throat> Drama, and trauma. <laughs> work, work is fun with all the stuff that goes on there. But that stuff goes on everywhere, so you know. They're always trying to fill shifts and stuff. So, anyway. bring lots of new greenness out there. 
Did you guys notice, did the forsythia bloom this year? The bush out, the, out front? Kids. What? Did you notice if the forsythia bloomed this year? Um, I don't know what a forsythia is. <laughs> it's the big green it's bush not. right down there. <laughs> it. I didn't think so, because when I drove in today, um, our forsythia was all, you know, has all the leaves on it now. And I was like, did it even bloom? I don't think it did, because it got... It warmed up, but then it got cold again, and I think it, like, stunted it, and it didn't ever get the yellow blooms all over it. So that was a bummer, because that's one of my favorite things in the spring. I did get lots of daffodils and tulips and all that stuff, though, but they're all done now and looking sad. The nice part about this is if you wanted to, if you used coffee dyed or tea dyed paper or whatever kind of paper, um, you could almost just leave it at this point because you have lots of writing space in there. I mean, I think I'm going to do a little bit more, but that's a really easy one to, to do. We're going to put some, a lady or something on there. Get all these out of here got legs hanging out and everything. I have some of the ones from oh, Amy J Design, I think is what she's called. Those were the ones I used in the last sewing journal I did. They're on the other side. I think I want that larger size. Jules is yelling at Theron. If you can hear her. She's always yelling at Theron. <laughs> I like the colors on that one a little bit better. So I'll use a little bit of Gail's feed sack. I don't know what forsythia is. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm struggling. Can you tell? Okay. Just didn't want that straight edge. Put that one on there. Is that going to be too wow with her dress, too? I think it looks good with the green, the greens. <laughs> She's so happy. She loves that boy, I'm telling you. She sleeps outside his door at night. And as soon as she opens the door, she screaming her head off. Yeah. Like he, first thing in the morning, he gets to hear her screeching at him <laughs> every morning. <laughs> She's just jabbering away. She always jabbers at me. I know. And purring. My goodness. Is you happy girl, Jules? Your boy got up? Been up for a while. I, well, you know what I mean. And she gets to hang out with you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here's Jules. Purring. You can probably hear the purring really loud. Purring loudly. loudly. Get your behind out of the <laughs> camera shot. I don't think everybody wants to see that. <laughs> doing Theron? Theron's never this hungry. Oh I know. God. What's wrong with you? Are you feeling okay? You bored? I'm bored. <laughs> You're bored. Did you, do you have any homework? I did it all. Oh, you did it all. I'll pay you to do my Yeah, I know. 
She's struggling with that geography class. <laughs> she just doesn't want to do it. <laughs> I want to go get taco time. Go for it. What do you want? Two tacos. Okay, what do you want? I'll get tacos. <laughs> hmm. I want a strip of this down here. You guys get the whole the whole family experience today. Well, my poor hubby's at work, but he'd probably not be up here hanging out with us anyways. He's not really into this whole project. The most he gets into it is uh, printing the cradles on the 3D printer. <laughs> Other than that, or doing something on the Glowforge, but he doesn't do any of the paper stuff on the Glowforge. He likes doing stuff out of wood. So he hasn't done much though. He needs to do more on there. Make it worthwhile. But it's kind of hard when you work full time, right? Okay. Yeah, I think this will be cute. And we could put a little decoration on the pocket part. There's one of Gail's gals all dressed in her sad print. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that is looking good. She's almost done with her hand covering it with the. Um, fabric. It's looking good. I'm going to rough up the edge on this. But I do love a rainy day to sit inside and do this stuff. And I like it when you're here to hang out with me, Aiden. <laughs> Makes it more fun. Yeah. <laughs> she likes doing art, but sculpture is not her thing. Like she, I mean, I hope she likes doing art since that's what she's um, sort of going into. But uh, yeah, sculpture's not her thing. And I told her it's not really my thing either. I don't know why. It just doesn't really do anything for me. I don't have a whole big interest in it either. I mean, I can appreciate like, you know, statues and sculptures that people have done but it's just not something that I am really into yeah exactly yeah yeah she likes to draw and paint and stuff like that but um yeah I think it's that thinking in the 3D version or something. I don't know what it is, but it's just not not for me. In this class, too, I've been, like, sculpture, but we've also been doing, like, the conceptual art. And so it's, like, all the ideas and the meanings behind Whoa. sculpture or whatever. That just, like, is way over my head. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> all, it's a sculpture. <laughs> all your art classes are going to kind of be like that because that's all part of that. that you gotta learn but it does help if you're at least more interested in the what you're doing what you're making she had fun doing Denny though that you did get into that I one Denny. yeah that one was really cool goofy name but it was yeah, good yeah everyone was like why did you name it Denny and then I was like <laughs> Literally, the name Denny is on it like a million times. <laughs> yep. 
Denny was the, uh, she did a book page sculpture if you're new to my channel and didn't see it. I showed it on one of, one of my videos and, um, she did a sculpture that was wire and it was covered in book page and it made like this really cool cylinder tube thing. Anyways, um, that particular book had the name Denny in it, you know, obviously one of the characters, but <laughs> that's why she ended up naming it Denny. <laughs> That was funny. Those are so cute. And the Gales gals, if you haven't heard, these ones are um, on Gales Etsy shop. And then the other ones that don't have the feed sack designs are in my Etsy shop in the So Fun Digi. Oh yeah, I like the blue. And these are from Tracy Fox. Love Junk Journals is what she is on Etsy. If you go looking for Tracy Fox, it probably won't come up because Etsy is not very helpful in that way. So, love junk journals. It's like you have to know the exact name. <laughs> it doesn't work. It's kind of annoying. more straight the first time. All right, so I'm going to notch that. And we could put some other like decorations on the other pages. So, cuz these will be um a writing spot, a writing spot and a writing spot. So, you don't have to put anything on them if you like them just the way they are, then don't worry about it, but if you want something on them, I think it'd be fun to put like a strip of something. Uh, dropping anything on the floor. I think I printed out. Oh, I know what might be fun on these. love these for some reason with the sewing stuff. I think it's just the colors. They're just fun colored. They go well with it. So even though they have absolutely nothing to do with sewing, they're just fun to use for the color. And those are uh, Gail's Vintage Ephemera. I think she's got a few different ones, but this is the one with the bright colored, like, blues and pinks and these yellow and orange and all that. I'll try to remember to link those in the description box below this video. well with the stuff. It's all sticky. <laughs> it's the only problem if you use um, just copy paper or lightweight paper. Sometimes to it really easy. What? <laughs> Sarah just texted me and said, I'm listening to the Princess and the Frog soundtrack and it's kind of a bop. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a what? A bop. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was singing it. It's a goofball. You must be waiting in line. Kind of a bop. <laughs> it's kind of a bop. A bop. Okay. Is that the new cool hip phrase yeah, or something? Yeah, I guess. It's kind of the bop, a bop. Stop. This is one of the circles from that digi. I was wondering if it might look cute if I did half of it. I could put it over here just to add. 
add a little something right up here. I kind of like it up there because it's a little thicker. So I think that may be, um, and I can use the other half somewhere else. Oh, you can almost have that as a little tuck. Why don't I do that? You just tuck a little something in there, like a tag or something. So I'll just glue down just this little part right here. He makes me laugh. Sorry, I'm still laughing at my son. He's such a goofball. Well, I watched the movie the other day. He would not watch it with me. He's like, Princess and the Frog, why are you watching that? Because <laughs> I want to. Because <laughs> it's good and I feel like it. It's like one of my favorites. That's so not cool, sissy. Oh, gosh. I know. Uh, sorry. I have a piece of paper that went floating all the way off the other side. I'm gonna go get a haircut today. I'd rather just like stay here and craft with you. With me? Yeah. Because you're usually either at work or at school or sitting in your room doing homework. <laughs> That's, those are the places she's at usually. <laughs> Thursday she goes back to work. Yay! I'm ready. Yeah. I, I think you were ready even sooner, but... Yeah. I'm glad I had this week off though so I can finish all my Yeah, you've had a lot of homework to get done. Like, if I don't go into work on top of all this, it would not get done. Yeah. Okay, so that's just a little, like, we need something to put in there. A little tag or something. Ticket, but I don't really want a ticket. I've used up all my tags. I don't have any printed, so I can't just, you know, use a tag from the digi because they're all used. I mean, I could print one for later. I think I don't have, I think I just have this, these couple of big ones left. Yeah. Oh, I have that little one. That in the book. That tuck in there. Oh, yes, it does. I mean, it's, it covers her face is the only problem. Yeah, maybe I'll make a different one. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, don't really like that. I'll use my coffee dyed cardstock, tea dyed cardstock, whatever. I don't know why I always say coffee dyed when it's not. Not really. Oh. This thing drives me nuts. Now you want to watch Princess and the Frog? Again. Again. <laughs> it is a great. That's it's cute. Super cute. And what? Alice in, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, that's always been your favorite. <laughs> Constantly. I'm just fixing the bottom of that because I bumped into my own finger and made it crooked. Oh my word. Some of these things are a real challenge. This is why I just don't love making tags. Even though they're simple, it's like too fiddly. And I know I probably could just... Um, simply do that but you know I wish somebody would come out with you know like if I could make these sort of things and maybe there is one so tell me if you know if there is one um like maybe just a few different sizes of those for tags you know whatever that's called the little 
edge for tags. That would be excellent. So if anybody knows that that exists, let me know. Because I've looked and I haven't seen anything. But that doesn't mean anything because I don't love the shop. So I don't do it very often. But, um, you know, I go look at punches and whatever, trying to find stuff. And I don't know. Anyway, if you know of something, I would love to know. because that is a real pain and it would be so nice like a corner rounder but a you know thing for the tag notch would be excellent so and there probably is <laughs> but like I said I have no idea uh, I mean, I do like to buy craft stuff, but yeah, go to, I try to stay away from Hobby Lobby because that's dangerous. Very, very dangerous. What? Yes, I do. I get very sucked in. Um, I don't want to use. I don't know what I want to use. Oh, I could use a piece of this. Hmm. I tear this one off, and I'm going to use a little bit of that rick rack right there. Turquoise Rick Rack. Do I want it over or under? I'm going to do check the size first here. And do a little extra. I'm going to do the top. And then I'm going to tear these sides a little bit more because I want them less of the coffee dye paper or I might leave that a little bit because I'm thinking I might and see it's gonna ah so sorry end up covering a lot of that that looks kind of neat though I like that so let's ink this No, we need to ink this one too. Huh? And the tag. <laughs> Whistle while you work. <laughs> I know. She's always got a song in her head, I swear. That's all she does is sing songs. And then she gets me singing them. It's like, thanks, you just like left me with that in my brain and I can't stop now. Done that a few times already today while she's been in here with me. <laughs> and as soon as like I pass on the song and someone else got a new one in my head. <laughs> yeah, so you can pass that one on too. I don't know if you guys could hear but she said as soon as I pass it on I've got a new one on my in my head. It's like yeah. And then she starts singing that and then I'm singing that. It's like oh stop. Still amazed you didn't go into music. She doesn't like to practice. That's why she didn't go into music. I love playing my instruments, and I hate practicing. <laughs> I just want to be good at it, okay? <laughs> just, just let me be good with no practice. <laughs> it's like, uh, it doesn't really work that way. I don't want to take the time to get to learn it. I want to know it now. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to end up having something that I cover her head, her head again if I do that. Huh. I could bring her over this way. We could trim her a little like there and there. I think that'll work. I just that little polka dot was in there. That would look kind of cool on the edge. I'm just having a, a circle thing happening, her half circle thing. She went like that. 
Oh, I totally knocked you guys sideways. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize that was sideways this whole time. I apologize. <laughs> you, had, you had the wonky view. At least you could still sort of see what I was doing, hopefully. <laughs> Deal with that. Okay, I need a new piece of paper. Oh, these are my favorite to back tag. So if you get the plain ones, especially in this kind of yellowy paper, they're great for backing stuff. Oh, I have a glue stick out that I need to use up first. a little bit here which is kind of sad but that'll work could wrap it around but that's kind of weird is it weird kind of but it's there <laughs> at least she's all there <laughs> she's not missing any hands or anything I want this on there. Yeah, I think I like it at the bottom. I don't know. I don't even know where that came from. But it was in with those. Because I haven't cut that recently, I'll tell you. Okay. So now we have a little tag to tuck up in there. And I'll probably end up stitching around that because I like the, especially when I'm doing a sewing journal but you don't have to stitch around it you just totally leave it like that if you're doing something else and then um that'll be a tuck spot for I don't know what yet but and then we also have this pocket here so yeah hope you guys liked that for the TCTC for this week and I will chat at you guys again tomorrow so thanks for hanging out with Aiden and I she left the room so it's just me now they all left <laughs> oh you are here I was just telling them bye oh I had to wash my hands because I need, I need to cut more fabric and Posh was in the sink so I had to go all the way downstairs to wash my hands. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys heard her, but she said uh, Pasha was in the bathroom sink, so she had to go all the way downstairs to wash her hands because she wouldn't take him out of the sink. Well, He's her hands were covered in glue, so that would have been bad. But All right. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and we'll chat again soon. Love ya. Bye-bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>